They say great minds think alike, but only the greatest minds make today's list. In 1898, an unusual experiment took place in Tesla's laboratory. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 famous inventors. Before Alfred Nobel, for blasting, people used black powder, what we call gunpowder which was very unstable, and you could only ignite it with a fuse. You could not control very well when it ignited or the pattern of the explosion that was generated. For this list, we've looked at those inventors that have had the most important, most popular, most definitive effect upon the modern world. We're interested in those responsible for the inventions without which modern life would be very different. To my utter amazement, Watson had heard me. <laughs> the machine had worked. Number 10. Guglielmo Marconi Guglielmo Marconi was an Italian inventor and the father of long-distance radio transmission and winner of the 1909 Nobel Prize for Physics. He was not the first person experimenting with wireless technology, but Marconi can be credited with turning the idea of radio waves into a commercial, practical reality. Marconi remodeled wireless apparatuses throughout his early career, lengthening the distance between which messages could be sent and received. Like many physicists of his day, Marconi thought that electromagnetic waves traveled like light, in a straight line. What would happen, he wondered, when sending a signal thousands of miles beyond the horizon? Best known for being the first person to successfully send a transatlantic message, Marconi's radio was also crucial in monitoring the 1912 sinking of the Titanic and saving at least some survivors. Indeed, in 1912, it was the SOS from the Titanic's Marconi room that brought the Carpathia steaming to the 705 survivors. Number 9. James Watt Watt obtained a job at the University of Glasgow repairing astronomical instruments and set up a small workshop there. A steam power pioneer, James Watt's work became a foundation for the Industrial Revolution, which swept across the UK and the US in the 18th and 19th centuries, and eventually reached the entire planet. When Watt was a young man, the Newcomen engine was used by most major factories. But he realized that that system was wasting large amounts of energy. Cue endless experimentation, until eventually Watt developed an efficient method for continuous rotary motion and unprecedented power. A rise of the machines magnificently followed. In 1781, after much financial hardship and struggle, Watt patented a steam engine that produced continuous rotative motion. Number 8. Benjamin Franklin A founding father of the United States, Benjamin Franklin was a master of many trades. Inventing-wise, his efforts were widespread, but his most famous experiment centered around his casting a kite into a lightning storm, drawing electrical charge, and subsequently developing the lightning rod as a means of ensuring safety in tall buildings. Franklin suggested that during a storm, a wooden sentry box be placed atop a hill or inside a steeple with a pointed rod attached to the roof. If a man inside the box held a wire touching the rod, Franklin predicted he would see a shower of sparks when lightning struck the rod. Other inventions that can be attributed to Franklin include a glass harmonica, bifocal eyeglasses, and a urinary catheter with added flexibility. As we said, his efforts were widespread. But many of Benjamin Franklin's contributions are still used today, so if you wear bifocals or talk about electric charge or survive a thunderstorm, don't forget to get out a $100 bill. Thank you, Grandpa Nerd. Number seven, the Wright brothers, Orville and Wilbur. For one pair of Ohio brothers, it took a little ingenuity, passion, and determination to turn their dream of flight into reality. Orville and Wilbur Wright are probably the most important names in the history of aviation and heavier than air flight. In the very early 1900s, inventors across America and the world were racing to develop a reliable and practical machine in which human beings could controllably fly. The Wright brothers won that race. Although the Wrights had managed to lift off on the beach of Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, they hadn't found a way to stay in the air for more than a minute. But that was about to change. Their invention of a three-axis control enabled multi-dimensional movement on a fixed-wing aircraft, far outstripping any innovation of their peers. From there, the sky really was the limit. Its powerful engine and 40-foot wingspan could carry pilot and passenger over 50 miles in the relative comfort of padded seats. As a Model B lands on the White House lawn, 
flight becomes the American dream. Number six, John Logie Baird. This apparatus was shown to members of the Royal Institution and others on January 27th, 1926, and showed through television images in light and shade for the first time. One of many great minds associated with the development of television, John Logie Baird seemed always prominent when the most significant advances were made. Many historians credit him with being the first to produce a live, moving, grayscale TV image. Did it really work? Originally, he could show just basically a black cross. It was a bit flickery and a bit wobbly, and he could just about, with some special focusing, just about get a white blob of a face. And he's also noted as the man behind the first publicly demonstrated color TV system, transmitted on July 3rd, 1928. A similar figure to Marconi in radio, Baird also worked to lengthen the distances between which TV could be broadcast, leading the way for the international applications that it has today. It is now 12 years ago since I produced the first little flickering television image. Today we have in London a regular television service, twice daily, with thousands of lookers in. Number five. Archimedes. As scientists work to recover the text from this fragile document, they are discovering that Archimedes was further ahead of his time than they had ever believed. Of course, inventors were inventing things in ancient times as well, and none more so than Archimedes. The brains behind the self-titled and still widely used Archimedes screw, a device enabling efficient pumping of water, the ancient Greek engineer is probably best remembered as a mathematician. He is the most famous of the ancient mathematicians and the first to discover the value for pi, the mathematical equivalent of inventing the wheel. The most famous Archimedes anecdote involves his creating a method to measure the volume of an irregularly shaped object. Perhaps he was sitting in the bathhouse one day, wondering how a heavy bathtub can float, when inspiration came to him. Upon working it out in the bath, he ran down the street naked shouting Eureka, which is now the unofficial catchphrase of inventors everywhere. Eureka! Did you build the smelloscope? No, I remembered that I built one last year. Number four, Leonardo da Vinci. He's well known as a great artist, but in fact, he also made great contributions to foundations of science. Another indisputable genius, Leonardo da Vinci's inventions are often overlooked, or at least overshadowed, because of his legendary artwork. Leonardo was among the most important painters of the Italian Renaissance and the father of the high Renaissance style. But da Vinci was more than just the Mona Lisa. In fact, many of his ideas were so advanced, they weren't physically possible for hundreds of years after his death. Within his designs, a helicopter, a calculator, and even suggestions of solar power. His technical and anatomical drawing was also largely unrivaled. He was more than outside of the box. He was intellectually adrift from the entire human race. But to understand how scientifically brilliant and innovative he was, we gotta understand what was going on during his time. In the late 1400s, when Leonardo was coming up as a young artist, Europe was essentially devoid of most real science in the modern sense. Number three, Nikola Tesla. The archetypal mad scientist, Throughout much of the 20th century, Nikola Tesla's work went a little underappreciated. These things never quite work as you expect them to, Mr. Angio. That's one of the principal beauties of science. But in recent times, efforts have been made to better preserve his story, and the impact he had on electrical engineering especially. Tesla was most taken with the idea of wireless technology, and he's best known for his work on alternating current electricity. The enduring images are those of him sitting and studying within highly charged laboratories, cleverer and crazier than almost anybody else that ever lived. Thunder is good. Thunder is impressive. But it is lightning that does the work. Number two, Alexander Graham Bell. So the story I will tell you begins when I was just a boy. The telephone is one of the cornerstone inventions of modern existence, and Alexander Graham Bell was the man who made it possible. What if you could send the sound of a human voice so that one person could simply speak to another, even if they were far away? Starting out his professional life by working with the deaf and hard of hearing, Bell harbored a lifelong fascination with sound and speech. When I wasn't thinking about machines or 
working on my ideas, I taught deaf children, just like my father did. He first began working on the telephone in the early 1870s, and the first successful bi-directional transmission of clear speech was conducted on March 10, 1876, when Bell called his colleague to say, Mr. Watson, come here. I want to see you. That first phone call was actually conducted through this wire. Alexander Graham Bell supposedly said over the telephone to Watson, Mr. Watson, come here, I want you. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Morse's idea is simple. By turning a switch on and off, you can send a series of electrical impulses across a wire to a distant receiver. If you create a pattern or code, you can send a message. This new explosive became what we now know as dynamite, which Alfred Nobel invented in 1866. Late in the 16th century, Galileo developed a geometric and military compass, used by surveyors and gunners. Galileo constructed a thermometer comprised of a sealed glass cylinder containing a number of objects inside a clear liquid. The varying densities of the objects caused them to rise or fall depending on changes in temperature. But you might also have found another less well-known face here. He was not a philosopher or poet, but an inventor, and he almost started an industrial revolution 2,000 years ago. Then, in 1450, an invention changed the world. In the German city of Mainz, Johannes Gutenberg invented the technique of printing with movable type. Number one, Thomas Edison. The phenomenally prolific American inventor, Thomas Edison. The holder of an incredible 1,093 U.S. patents, Thomas Edison was an extreme inventor. There were other great inventors. Then there was Edison. He understood that inventing is not just having an idea. And so he made Edison a name to be reckoned with. A real rags to riches story, he's probably best known for his ultimate and original light bulb moment. Edison worked to install his electric light into towns and cities across the globe, demonstrating a knack for big business as well. The phonograph was also his creation, the alkaline storage battery, he screened early motion pictures, and he even drew up ideas for an electric car. If Edison thought about it, he did it. And he usually did it well. The storage battery, the motion picture projector, the motion picture camera, the phonograph or record players we would call it nowadays. Do you agree with our list? Who's your favorite famous inventor? For more pioneering top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Here he could see his futuristic ideas appearing on the screen. But his ideas were only accepted in science fiction movies and magazines.